Okay, so the next thing to do is we need to make sure that we've set up some input controls in, in this project. So um, we can then, uh, when we click on uh, any of the uh, buttons or the trigger on the controller, uh, we can have some input. So the first thing to do is we need to go to edit, go to project settings, and go to input. Now I've already set these up. Now there's two types of input. There's action input and there's axis input. Axis input is when we're using the thumbnail, oh sorry, or the thumbstick, uh, which, which uh, the amount of movement will vary. Whereas um, when we owe action mapping, is when a certain thing happens, so when a trigger is is activated. Okay. So in the action mapping, you need to create a new action and so to create a new action it's dead easy just to go um, add the action button and obviously you need to put the name in so the first name is snap rotate right in here and then underneath there is the input so if you drop that down you can see the oculus touch and there's lots of different inputs so you need to make sure you pick the right one so if we if i just delete that and i go through this so that's the name of the input and then the first one is the oculus r thumbstick right so that's when you when you flick the thumbstick to the right on on the right-handed controller because remember we're only using one controller for now and obviously for the snap left we're just using the thumbstick okay and then finally on the axis mapping i've just realized that we we could have put this in in the in the, in the action mapping but we'll we'll, we'll we'll stick with what i've done so axis mapping, call it movement, and this time all you need to do is put in the Oculus Touch R trigger and put the scale 0.3. Okay. I'll, I'll actually revise this uh, later on because we don't need to do that. It's because this was done for an older version of the quest, but we'll, we'll, we'll keep as it is. Okay, once those three are done, we can close those and then we can go back to the map. Now, if we go inside the VR, VR pawn move, inside here we've got three tabs. If you go to the event graph, okay, and we can delete these. And what, what we need to do is we need to find those actions. So let's just find those actions. So we go to action. You can see the action input is already there. Okay. So we've got snap left. And we also want input, sorry, action. Snap right. You know their actions because they're in red, and we've also got one called movement. So we type in movement, you can see axis event movement. So now we've got the three actions that we need. So we'll just compile and save that. At the moment, there's nothing attached to these at the moment, and in the next video, uh, I'll show you how to do how to add those.